Over the next several weeks, First Down Playbook is going to take our youth football coaches in and we're going to take a look at all of the youth offensive formations that we have. And you can see we have 12 of them here. But we want to take you into each one and talk a little bit about what type of things you should be looking for if you choose to run uh, these particular formations. So we'll start with our very first one that we call double wing. As you can see, we have plenty of options in here as far as types of plays that you might run out of the double wing. But we want to break it down a little bit more than that today and talk about if you're a youth football coach, what things are you looking for uh, in order to choose the double wing formation as your formation of choice with your youth football team? The first thing that we see is that if you're going to run a double wing, you probably need to be heavy with offensive linemen uh, and tight end types on your team. Now, let's face it, these double wings, uh, the wings to each side here, could be back types or they could be tight end, uh, even lineman types, depending on what you want to do with a double wing formation. So the one thing that is uh, obvious, though, is that you don't have any wideouts in this formation. So if you're in a situation with your youth football team where you've got a lot of linemen and a lot of backs and maybe some tight end types, the double wing formation, the double wing offensive attack could be what you're looking for. Um, so the second thing that we look at, and, and we, we encourage you to take a look at uh, not only the fact that when you flip this formation, whether it's uh, right or left, then you're really presenting the defense with the same uh, threats to both sides. Now, but we encourage you to also look at it vertically. You see, we've got it flipped here. We're now, take a look at what the defense sees when they're lining up against your offense. So one of the things that uh, it, we look at here is that the wings, depending on who they are, they give you a leverage advantage. Now, we're lined up in a 6-2 defense right here. And these backers may uh, cheat out or tilt or some people may even play them outside leverage on your wings. But you do give yourself particular advantage with this formation because you give yourself wings which give you leverage to get outside. Maybe get down blocks and pulls to, to get on the edge quicker. And so that's another thing that we like about the double wing formation. And finally... When you line up in a double wing formation, once again, depending who, who your three back and your two back are, and once again, you also can label these, you can label them and edit them to be who you want. But if you come in motion, all right, with either back right here, you are very quickly in a two back formation that could, uh, looks a lot like a wing T attack. So whether it be the three back or the two back, you have an opportunity right here to get in a two-back offense uh, very quickly. So the last thing we would encourage is that understand that as you're blocking, we'll flip it back around here to get where we're looking from the offensive perspective. You've got an even front, and against two tights and two wings, a double wing formation, you're probably going to get at least six guys up on the line of scrimmage. But understand that you might get a defense that's, um, you know, you may get an odd front. And we see this all the time where people draw up their plays and really they haven't taken into consideration that it could be an odd front and your center could be covered instead of your guards. So we'll take out the shades here in the guards, all right? Just try to get a, uh, an odd look up here pretty quickly for you. And we'll make this tackle the backer. And so now what you're looking at is you're looking at a defense that's got really six to eight guys on the line of scrimmage because of your formation again, but now you've got the centers covered and your tackles are covered and not your guards. And then obviously you can also get what we call a bear defense to where these ends come down and line up on the guards. And now you've got a very run oriented defense um, that's going to probably line up that way to stop the fact that you don't have any wideouts in the game. So, but we encourage you once again to, before you go back over here 
And once again, you can see we've got tons of plays and we do a good job of blocking up all of our plays against multiple fronts. But we would encourage you to take a look at your personnel, take a look at what the formation gives you because once you get your formation down and your personnel down, we'll do the blocking for you. And obviously when you come in, if you want to see that play blocked up against the 5-3, we've got it. And obviously we're going to give you the ability to come in at the end of it and you can edit this play and do with it what you want if you want to change it around a little bit. But we encourage um, coaches to take a look at the youth level because double wing is a very good formation, particularly if you're interested in running the football.